a singing class are trying to put an end to loneliness and isolation within the elderly community. Each week participants show up to Singing for Wellbeing sessions where they have a chance to socialise and sing a few hits. Our reporter Kirsty Chambers joined them for their weekly gathering. It's estimated that in Hampshire there are over 48,000 people aged 65 and over that feel lonely. That's nearly 20% of Hampshire's overall population. Diane Brown has set up a Singing for Wellbeing class to help lower these figures. Well, the main reason be behind Fat Live at Home is to prevent social isolation in older people so they can come out and uh, take part in activities in a safe environment and get the mental stimulation, build up friendships which continue after the group, have um, meaningful conversations. Age UK state that over a million people over the age of 60 do not have a meaningful conversation in a whole month which is quite a daunting statement, especially if you sat at home, nowhere to go, and you become depressed. One factor that causes isolation and loneliness can be a person's social network. Making friends can be daunting, but even harder in the elderly community. And I think at any age, sometimes it's difficult to, to meet new people, and it does get more difficult as you get older, but they've made, they've made new friends, they go and eat together, they phone each other up, and sometimes they even meet outside the group. Pam has been coming along to the sessions and enjoys meeting new people. She uses the group as a way of getting out within the local community. I enjoy it very much. I think it lifts your spirits. You know, if you're feeling low, you come out feeling really happy. Nice to come out, otherwise you'd just be shut in four walls all the time. And it's nice to chat and have a laugh with your friends. And the exercise is good for you, all that we can do. Since starting, they are already noticing a change in people's moods. We have a lady um, that used to come in the first couple of weeks. She would be very sleepy. Um, she's brought here by a minibus and she would um, be very tired and sleepy when she arrived and doze, doze during the session. Uh, now she sings for the whole hour. In fact, she is probably the, the core person in the group at the moment and she would just sing away, remember all the songs. The group allows people to perform small controlled movements whilst exercising their vocals. Basically, it is all seated. Unless anyone's feeling adventurous and feels the need to have a little dance around the circle, sometimes that's just me. Um, we do have instruments as well and we have a giant scrunchie, which is very popular. Um, just to get, get everyone moving, uh, that's what it's about. So there's lots of sort of swaying, there's lots of actions. We do actions to all the songs. So although we are seated, we are, there's lots of movement going on as well, which, is, which is, is very helpful to everyone. From the outside, this group may seem like a normal singing class, but actually they focus more on building friendships in the community. It's not about the singing and it's not learning to sing. It's, it's lifting the spirits, beating the blues, having fun and laughter. The group runs every Thursday morning where they start the day with a nice cup of tea. Cassie Chambers for that Solent.